What's up everyone, it's Hey John and I Jabber Opportunities Nonstop. Today we will be covering the Evergrow coin news. We will be covering the cryptocurrency market as a whole to get a gauge of where things are going. We will be covering the Evergrow coin charts and of course we will be covering the data that I process showing you the Evergrow coin hodler distribution. And I must say it is quite interesting to see how the Evergrow coin huddlers are moving about in the migration patterns. Folks, this is something you definitely want to make sure you are aware of. Today's video is sponsored by Hey John. Oh, wait, that's me. So please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe because I do my part to make educational content to distribute to folks. So guess what, folks? If you're on cryptocurrency, Evergrow coin specifically, if you want to get more investors, they need to be educated on what this token is all about. And that's what I do. So all you got to do is a quick little click and boom, you've done your part to help support the news, the narrative and my channel. And I humbly thank you for that. Let's start off with the news today, folks. We have some pretty good news here and let's just jump right into it. Hashtag Evergrow coin go live on another exchange. Boom. Hotbit has over 1 million users. Rocket money banks fist hashtag egc hotbit 2021 new listing on hotbit io egc evergrow coin egc will be listed on hashtag hotbit users can start depositing egc and preparation for trading egc usdt trading pair will be opened at 8 a.m utc ladies and gentlemen that is very bullish news you know why because we have now access to 1 million more users and don't forget folks this is in the grandmaster plan to distribute egc on many exchanges so we can easily buy it and why is this important is because we've currently as of this recording have not used the marketing machine the million dollars in the wallet to guess what initiate the marketing so when all of these exchanges are in place guess what the marketing will occur and boom you can buy it anywhere and everywhere very easily and that will help the ever grow coin cause and don't forget folks there's plenty of utility as well and if you want some more utility information you can watch my previous videos ladies and gentlemen look at the search trends for evergrow coin it is literally ticking back up it was at 13 on december 5th to 11th that was when it was at its lowest and boom now we're up to 17 now from from december 12th to december 18th well you may think well that isn't a very big deal right what's four points here you have to remember this is a search trend and in order to get four points there has to be a lot of searches so we're seeing an increase in searches for evergrow coin well last time we saw an increase of searches of evergrow coin well i'm not gonna say too much folks but we know what happened right Evergrow coin went to the leave me a comment down below with a special keyword of moon let's go ahead and cover some more trending information here okay folks let's go ahead and get a temperature check of how the cryptocurrency markets are doing bitcoin is down 2.8 percent for the week ethereum is down 3.37 percent for the week today it's, it's down a whopping 4.7 percent so we're seeing ethereum have a larger correction than bitcoin so the folks who always say the flippening, well, it sure doesn't look that way. Binance coin, $523 down a whopping 7.79%. And do not forget, folks, if you are an Evergrow coin, it's a trading pair. EGC to BNB. That's a trading pair. So if BNB goes down, then naturally speaking, EGC goes down with it. Solano is actually one of the few who are actually up 1.49%. Is down 4% for the day, but overall for a week is doing pretty good. Cardano is down a whopping 3.505%. Is down 5.18% for the week. Cardano could hit $1 before it hits $3, in my opinion. Because Cardano is not looking very bullish at all. And they have a lot of pipeline that they have not been able to complete xrp ripple is down 2.57 percent at around 80 cents as of this recording avalanche is the star of my eye right now up a whopping 32.63 percent for the week up 7.85 percent for the day 112 dollars and 45 cents avalanche is extremely bullish and i will be making a video covering it because i was looking into it and my god their technology is 
amazing. Terra Luna is down 4% as of this recording for the week. Polkadot 5.9% down for the week. Dogecoin, my first love, is down 0.06% for the week, which is not too bad if you think about it because Dogecoin has been going down non-stop all day every day. Shiba Inu is down a whopping 10% for the week. Okay, folks, so we got a temperature check. We can see what's going on and we can see the leaders here, Bitcoin and Ethereum, are both pulling back for the week. So we can see Bitcoin and Ethereum in terms of the temperature check is having a little heyday. It's kind of pulling back, but yet Evergrow coin on the chart is actually looking pretty bullish. And let's just go ahead and jump into it and let me show you why. Okay, folks, we're looking at the EGC chart on a 15 minute perspective here, okay? EGC to BNB is a trading pair. The reason why I'm saying it's looking quite bullish on this chart is because guess what? We're testing the resistance at 6664. We've tapped it once, twice, three, four times and got rejected four times. It reminds me of me asking a woman out. I always get rejected, but on the fifth try, I always get lucky. <laughs> All right, enough humor about that. So we can see here on a blue line here on a 15 minute chart, it's showing an upward trend trajectory here, right? And we saw a nice sell off and it broke through it and we saw it with some volume confirmation at around seventy five thousand dollars okay now that isn't a lot of money if you think about it because egc used to trade in millions of dollars per day so we're seeing some bodies sell off here okay and that's okay folks people want to take the profits right here right so what does this mean here so our channel is from 5516 all the way up to 6664 here we are trading in a channel currently and we are in the upper portion of the channel so if we look at the median line here it's around 61 for the most part and guess what folks if you see this little orange circle i drew for you in the middle of the channel here we saw a nice bounce off so when i see people buying up a dip at the middle of the channel this tells me people are more bullish than bearish even though we're trending down right now and we're seeing a sell-off it's been a while We've been at 5516 and now we tapped the resistance at 664. It makes sense that we only hit our heads and we come back down because, folks, we do not have the catalyst to move us forward yet. And by catalyst, I mean marketing, I mean having utility in place being released. As you can see, we've had some delays here. It's being pushed from the end of this year to early january and that's okay folks i'm not saying this is bad news or fudding or anything you have to remember folks like to buy when deadlines are met and guess what you have utility in place that you can actually show and more than just a proof of concept all right folks so based on a chart here around 6 1 is going to be your middle of the line here and this is where you want to see the bull step in and they did exactly that they stepped in and they bought it up and we saw a nice bounce. Remember folks, we are near the top of the channel here around 6664, which is gonna be your resistance, but there could be some very good news for the cryptocurrency market as a whole and that may lift up evergrow coin because you know in the stock market we have something called the santo rally and folks are calling for the santo rally in the stock market and guess what folks people who invest in the stock market nowadays they also have some cryptocurrency as well so if you're feeling good there it may transition over to the cryptocurrency market as of right now there is no confirmation don't forget folks the santa claus rally is coming in a week or two and usually that could happen this could be the year where it happens again and i just want to emphasize make sure you watch the price at around 6.1 if it breaks down below there then that means the bears are back in control and the bulls well guess what they've gave it up and they lost their battle and that's okay folks because that just means more dip buying opportunities now i want to cover the coin hodler distribution because this is actually quite interesting and quite fascinating so without further ado let's get to it here we go folks here's a coin hodler distribution report this is the one where it gives you a high level of the hodler breakout whether you go from 25 to 1 trillion or the 25 to 1 billion club etc you have the number of hodlers in each category and then you have the amount of tokens that they hold in each category the important one to note here is a coin hodler change so this data here is processed for seven days so we're seeing a seven day change here folks so do not be worried or concerned but there is something very, very interesting to see here, folks, and I want to cover it with you. So we can see from 500 to 250 billion 
all the way down to 500 and 250 million, we can see folks are actually selling off their positions. And you're saying, okay, why are you selling off? And most importantly, why is a chart moving back up even though all these folks are selling off? If you look at it here, 3.8, 3.6, 2.1, 4.2. This is around 13 trillion EGC tokens sold from the 500 and 250 billion club all the way down to the 1 billion club. The interesting thing here is that we can see from a 25 to 1 trillion club, we've actually increased by one member and in seven days, they bought a combined value of 9.2 trillion Evergrow coin. Now, this is a very interesting phenomenon. For the past few weeks, we've been seeing the whales sell off here, right? And pushing the price down. And you were seeing all the Evergrow retail hodlers come in and buy it up here, right? But now we're seeing the flip side. We're seeing the EGC whales buy it up and we're seeing a new EGC whale being minted. And we're seeing, I would call the retail investors selling off their positions. Okay, folks, let me go ahead and explain to you guys right now what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why this is very bullish is because we're finally seeing the despair in the retail investors. And you're saying, hey, John, what the heck? The despair in the retail investors, why is that bullish? Well. I will tell you why right now. First, you see fear and everyone's like, okay, where is it going? What's going on, folks? Why is it going down? I don't know what's going on, but I'm diamond pawing. I'm diamond handing here. I'm not scared, even though I really am. And then you see capitulation, a big movement down here. And boom, when you see a big movement down, you're down like, what, 50%, 60%? Okay. After you're like, okay, John, um, I'm like really freaking out, bro. Like, what do I do here? Well, um... Oh my God, oh my God, I'm freaking out. And then you hit the despair phase where you go even lower and you trend down for some time. And then you're just like, oh my God, I'm never getting out of this. I'm never getting my money back. Oh my God, what should I do? And you had your friends asking you this and that and you have your, maybe your wife or your husband pressuring you and you end up selling because you're down 90% and they're saying, well, you know what? Take out your 10% because 10% is better than 0%, right? And you're like, oh, you know what? You know what, babe, maybe you're right. Uh, I guess I'll do that then, right? Boom, you sell off. And then, well, the smart money comes in and buys it all up. And right now, I am seeing the smart money, aka the whales, buying it up right now. And when I see this inflection point, so this tells me we're ready to rock and roll. But do not forget, folks, when I said to you guys, it does not mean it'll happen tomorrow or the next week or even the next month okay it's not a guarantee or anything but but usually when you see a low period in the charts and you see people just selling off when i say people i mean the retailers this is a clear sign that we are ready to rock and roll because the whales are seeing an amazing opportunity and they're buying it up now you're thinking hey john why do i care what a whale does because guess what these whales they have money and believe it or not they dictate where the market goes okay it's as simple as that. If they have a lot of tokens, when we were at the top, a new paradigm, oh my God, it's amazing. Boom, they sold and do, 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 do. went all the way down, all the way down and all the way down. And now we're trending sideways all the way down. When you have this fear and capitulation and retail investors actually selling and their elated feelings are gone, that is, in my opinion, the time to load up and buy Evergrow coin. This is not financial advice, just my personal opinion. And ladies and gentlemen, leave a comment down below with the keyword despair because i want to know who are the ones who are going to make tons of profit because I, in my opinion i think we're ready to go and blast off to the moon and most importantly i want you all to have an awesome day and don't worry too much and i will catch you all on the next one